Hi, I'm Libby and I'm a high school student working on the Make Able Challenge with my team, Opal, Tyler, and Drew. The device that we came up with for the Make Able Challenge puts a new twist on a pill device that was first seen on TikTok. Here's a bit of background. There was a TikTok video some months back that showed a new pill bottle design that helped people with Parkinson's be able to administer their own medication. The wife of the person we were working with saw that video and had one of their friend's kids 3D print the device. However, their, de their design was ineffective, so we redesigned and put our own twist on a new product. Let's meet the person we are making the device for, Steve. Steve, thank you for taking the time to work with us on the Make Able Challenge. As you know, we are designing technology for people with disabilities. Could you please tell us what you're looking for? Well, my hands are shaky. I have a disease called Parkinson's. Um, I saw on a TikTok video a pill dispenser. That pill dispenser didn't work as I had envisioned. It was a little ineffective for me. I'd like to have a little bit larger if I could, um, something I can grab onto with my hands, one pill at a time and dispense, and also maybe if it was adjustable, so different pill sizes. That's perfect, thank you. We'll get right on that. We started out by getting our requirements from Steve, who wanted us to focus on getting it to dispense one pill at a time. And then we sat down and brainstormed ideas on what a bottle should look like. We made our first prototype out of plastic cups. Then we settled on a fine design and moved to Fusion 360. Here's Tyler to tell us more about that. Thank you, Opal. To start off our 3D models, we decided to draw the cup portion of the device. The cup is the main body element in our design, and as everything else is built off of it, it made the most sense to start by designing this part. Using Fusion 360, we first modeled the main body, as shown here. All of the other parts were then designed based off of the main cup. Thanks to Fusion 360, we were able to virtually assemble all of the parts into the entire bottle and ensure that each part fit together properly before we printed them. We also created rendered 2D drawings to compare our original drawings to. We were also able to measure in advance the mass of all of the parts so we knew how much filament was required in advance, a total of 11.39 ounces. Now we are 3D printing our designs and prototyping the designs to match our envisioned design for the project. Here's a little bit to walk you through how we modified and tested our designs throughout the prototyping process. Thanks, Tyler. Now let's talk about our prototypes. First, we made a working model out of materials we had in our lab in order to communicate our design plans to all the team members. In our original design, we were planning on combining parts of our cup by a pin incorporated into the cup's base. However, we found that that was not a reliable plan, so we adjusted. We decided to make separate pins that connect the bottom of the base into the bottom of the cup. As you can see, we went through three different iterations of our pin design. We also began with a lid made out of PLA, but we found that the PLA was too rigid to fit around our cup. So in our next iteration, we printed a lid made out of TPU. At this point, we were brainstorming how to make a spring that would contract our cup to the same position every time. We began our process with a flat spring, making different prototypes of the bottom of the cup as well as the base. However, through testing, we found that the flat spring was too inflexible because of its short length, so we adjusted to different types of springs. We worked on a spring that would expand when pulled and contract when released. However, we were having troubles att attaching the spring to both the base and the bottom of the cup. So in our final iteration, we used a compression spring. Over to Opal to explain our final design. So here's our final pill bottle. This meets every requirement set forth by our expert Steve. It is easy to fill and use. It dispenses pills one at a time, can be adjusted for different pill sizes, and it's ergonomic, and it's fully 3D printable. We used a spring that allows the bottom to snap back into position. Over to Steve to hear his final review. Now that you've had time to work with the product, how do you like it? I, I like it a lot. It, um, it's much larger, so I can grab it more easily. Um, I like the twist feature where it kind of recoils back. I kind of can feel it in my hand. Um, that's very helpful and you can definitely, it, it works as, as advertised one pill at a time. Uh, I'm very, very pleased and it's, it's improved my life. So thank you. We were so glad that we were able to help Steve. If you would like to download the pill bottle files for yourself, check the link in the description.